What's up, YouTube? It's another episode of the How To Guy. And me, the best voiceover guy in the business. And my voiceover guy, he's helping out today as well. Today I wanted to do like an Iron Man themed video. I'm going to show you a short clip today in space. And then I'm going to show you in three easy steps how you can make that in DaVinci Resolve 16. Warning, warning, low oxygen, please rectify. John, you there? Yes, sir. Did you hear that? I did. Can you fix that? I'll do my best. Restoring oxygen. These levels look normal. It must be acting up again. Oxygen levels normal. Can you pull up any telescopic views of Mars we have currently? As you wish, sir. Looks nice. It is. Looks cold. Oh, yes. Thank God for thermal underwear. You could never be more right, sir. The first thing we need to do is actually find our earth, which will be the background. So let's drag the earth in. Then we need to just shorten that clip so it's the same length. Then I'm going to right click this and go new fusion clip. Notice you have media in one, media in two. If we go to media in one and we push that on number one, we can press F2 on our keyboard and rename that to green screen. And rename that to earth because the media in two is our earth clip now we have to do something notice that there's a little yellow arrow and a little green arrow we want to switch those around because we want the green to be if you hover over this it says background and it says earth is on the foreground now we want that to be the opposite so all we need to do is drag this one to green and that one to yellow so what we'd like to do now is add a delta kia this is a very important step so we click the green screen and press shift space bar and type in delta Add that in, it automatically adds it in between the merge node. Click the Delta key. Here. Notice at the top there's this little eyedropper. All you need to do is click with your left, hold it, drag it over the green, and drop it. So we click, dragged it over the green, and now we have our background. If you're going to film the green screen stuff, since you're really close on the face, there's nothing stopping you from buying like a $1 piece of cardboard paper, putting this on the wall, and filming your green room shot for your Iron Man scene. You don't need a big green screen for this. Now the next thing we want to do is add our HUD. In order to add this HUD on top of our face, is add another merge node. So we add another merge node, you see it says merge if we hover that, we just hover over here, press shift on our keyboard and drop it in and there's our merge node. Now we just drag that in. Heads up display over the face now. So all we need to do now is actually add a little bit of blur on this heads up display because it looks a little bit too rough. So Click the media in one, let's just rename it to HUD to keep everything neat and tidy. Shift and spacebar while you've clicked that node and add a blur effect. So let's add a blur, it'll add it in automatically. Let's just blur it slightly, you see it, you can see it's slightly blurred. But I'm going to show you how to make this even better because as if you notice as it plays, it doesn't move. John, you there? So what we'd like to do is actually fix that up. So let's go back to Fusion. We actually want to make the HUD move along with the face. So in order to do that, we need to click on this green screen, go Shift Spacebar again, go Planner Tracker. That's what we'd like to add. We click Planner Tracker and we make sure this is selected. Translation just in this one. And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to bring this to the, remember to bring your timeline to the beginning. I'm going to draw a slight box over my eyebrow because that seems to be the best thing to track. See the set button? Click that set button. And then what you need to do is come down to this button, which is like a start button, which is going to start, which is going to start the track, track to end. Click that and it should track the eyebrow. Okay, it's tracked everything. You'll see all these little white lines. Now this is where the cool stuff happens. You'll notice there's a button down here and it says create planner transform. This is a really important button. In fact, when I click it, I want you to look inside my timeline or node list over here. Click planner tracker, you notice it added a planner transform. So we use the planner tracker and we got all of its data into this planner transform. With this planner transform, we can actually just add it in between the HUD. Hold shift on your keyboard and drop it in between those two lines. So what it's done now is it's used the HUD. It knows where the HUD is. It's using all the points relative to my eyebrow to actually move this thing around. So what happens now when we go back to our screen and we push play, notice how the HUD moves. It moves in John, relation there? to the eyebrow. So there's one last thing I want to do on this page just to give it a really ultra realistic 
you need to go to your fixed library at the top left then go to blur under tools 3d blur and then go to glow add that glow in once you've selected the hud it'll automatically add in the glow and gives a bit more of a realistic effect i couldn't find the best space gloves for this scene so i used these old gardening gloves they were the closest thing i had that looked like space gloves they're kind of dirty i apologize for that okay the next step is to actually hover your mouse over the glove now we need to get the background which is this green so let's go find our clip and as you can see we have this and we're going to drag that one on again and we're just going to shorten it over here so click that drag delete make sure your mouse is hovered over that select all those clips right click and go new fusion clip at the top so new fusion clip do is go down to our effects library again back in here and let's do some renaming let's call this glove go okay call f2 and let's call this earth we want the glove to be in the foreground which is green and we want the earth to be yellow which is the background now we're going to add a delta shift spacebar delta kia drag this on make sure it's green you can click this little icon notice this little icon here if you click that and you go slightly down you can increase the thresholds and it should affect your image slightly let's continue and let's add that special effect on the hand so what we'd like to do right now is track the glove right so we need to add a planner tracker so you want planner tracker is the one you want click add notice it's added it in between the glove and the delta kia automatically make sure you drag this right to the beginning of the timeline because it does create mistakes and then what i need you to do is click around five points on your glove to the top left here and click set and we can make this perspective just make a translation at the bottom right you'll see track to end we want to click that and so the glove gets tracked all the way and i won't let you wait for this now here's the magic part of this formula so we want to just use this timeline we'll rename this to oxygen meter even though it doesn't look like one of those we'll just call it that and we're going to go to this planet tracker and choose the planet tracker now at the top you'll see the operation mode and i need you to choose corner pin so it's added something to our display we're going to drag this quite large we're going to make it quite big over the entire hand and then we're going to go down to the oxygen meter and the planet tracker right click this little gray box and just drag it and drop it over here and then you'll see corner pin now look what happens as soon as i've done that it's added it on to the screen now all we need to do and you can see it's really faint you can barely see the thing so let's fix that up we're going to click on this oxygen meter we're going to go shift space bar color corrector is the one you want and click add notice it's added in between then we can just lift some of the gamma we can probably play with some of the hue we can probably make it a bit darker i guess the size i kind of like that size it looks a little bit relative to the hand and then you can actually literally go back and you can test it out okay the next step we actually need to do is add the hud over this interface this is actually easier than you think so all we need to do is find the hud we need to click this merge one node because that's the final one coming out before it goes to the end of your clip and you just need to add another merge node hold shift on your keyboard drop it with your little pointer between those two mouse your pointer between those two colors drag this onto the green and notice we have a hud we're going to do the same as before shift space bar we're going to put a blur add a blur to that we're going to blur it slightly we're just going to blur it a little bit that should be fine then we're going to come over to the effects library at the top again go to the blur and click this glow you'll see a glow has been added in between and you can fiddle around with that until you're happy with the kind of effect that you get but 
that gives you quite a nice effect. Okay guys, that's the end of this space video. If you like this content, please leave a comment. I really appreciate it. I read and respond to every single one. See you again next time.